so hello everyone welcome to the first video of 2024 so in the last week we ran a poll asking about how many of you subscribers have gcp certification and almost 50% of the subscriber wanted to get a gcp certification or was looking for a option which is free of cost so in this particular video we will show you how to get ics gcp certification why the gcp is important and how to go about completing this certification so that you can do a fabulous career in pharmacy as well as in clinical research without wasting any further time let's start So first and foremost let us understand what exactly is GCP so GCP stands for good clinical practice so it is an international ethical and scientific standard for conducting biomedical and behavioral research involving human participants so objective of this good clinical practice guideline is to provide a unified standard across the european union japan us canada switzerland and other gcp participating country in order to mutually accept the data from clinical trials by the regulatory authority because multiple clinical trials are being conducted in different countries so if we have a unified standard which can lay some guidelines and if everyone follows that there is no need to duplicate those trials so that is why a fundamental guidelines which is mutually accepted by everyone across the world is good clinical practice when it involves biomedical and behavioral research on human participant so the current system of good clinical practices has evolved in part in response to the revelation of the past episode and various incidences in the history which abused the good clinical practices for example the tuskegee syphilis study or the nuremberg uh, trials so the gcp guidelines have been evolving with such incidences and exposure of this particular incidents has provided momentum for the development of regulation and this is not only a regulatory part but also ethical guideline on protection of the human research participant so you understand why this good clinical practices are very important for everyone who is participating in clinical trials or biomedical research involving human participant so that we can ensure the ethical guidelines as well as the regulations are maintained as per the global standards so now we have understood gcp let's move on now why do we need to get gcp certified and why is this particular certification important so gcp is mandatory for all staff who is participating in clinical research to ensure their understanding of the adopted principles in clinical trial okay this gcp is widely accepted and expected in all clinical uh, research involving human participants gcp is not specific to a protocol but it is a rather general and applicable to every protocol okay so doesn't matter which type of drug research you do gcp is mandatory for all kind of research next thing is anyone who is directly involved in the design conduct or oversight of the trial which involves human participant they need to get gcp certified and this includes all the side staff the backup staff the contractor the subcontractor and any member who performs a key function in clinical trial everyone should mandatorily complete gcp and non study staff in a particular research who provide a standard of care or non study related services should also be encouraged it is not mandatory but they should be encouraged to take gcp training so that they understand what principles are involved in clinical research or biomedical and behavioral research and how are they supposed to work okay so all these criteria helps you to understand what are the principles of research that you should follow whenever you conduct various study okay so this is why the gcp is very important now today i will be explaining you that where you can get this awesome gcp certification and that is for free of cost so this is the website which is given in front of you so it is nidatraining.org okay so here you can complete your gcp certification so let's see how we can do that so first and foremost you have to register yourself in this particular training let's see how the registration process is so when you log in in the given a uh, link so i'll give link in the description box so you will see this login page okay here you need to sign up first and create your account 
so when you go to create your account it will ask you some basic questions such as your name your last name your study role or title in which organization do you perform and other related details so that it can understand what particular your role is once you have created the account now you will go forward and move to gcp training okay now let us see what kind of training modules are involved in nida gcp certification so as you can see on your screen there are uh, more than 12 modules okay which are involved in gcp certification on this particular website so first and foremost they will help you with introduction of clinical research they will help you understand what is good clinical practices how are they developed and what is the baseline of it next they will help you understand the institutional review board which is generally referred as ethics committee then they will cover the informed consent okay why informed consent is important what exactly is informed consent then they will also cover the confidentiality and the privacy involved in clinical research okay here they will explain you what kind of confidentiality and privacy standards are expected when you conduct a clinical trial as well as they will help you understand the participant safety and the adverse event that should be recorded and reported during a clinical trial as well as the quality assurance guidelines and quality assurance measure that are required to be conducted in clinical research next thing would be the research protocol and what are the components of it followed by documentation and record keeping and also the research misconduct what are the misconduct what is the definition and what you should avoid also there is also a module on roles and responsibilities of various stakeholders in clinical research and what and how they should perform followed by the recruitment and retention in a particular trial so how to recruit a subject what are the retention criteria and what are the standards followed by what are investigational new drugs so if you overall see all this topic it will essentially take you from the start of the trial to the end of the trial and help each and every stakeholders understand what exactly their role is in clinical research and how they should perform and it is also in terms of regulatory as well as ethical guidelines so after completing this course you would understand a holistic picture of good clinical practices so this is regarding the course topics so once you complete all the course okay there will be a quiz which will help you get the certification now after each and every module there is a quiz and based on that there is a certain threshold that you should pass so the minimum passing quiz score is 80% so in all module except for the introduction module you need to score minimum 80% and this is a representation okay so i have completed this uh, certification uh, around in 2020 and uh, this is how the gradings were so minimum 80% you need to score in all the modules in order to be eligible for the certification so once you get minimum 80% you are granted certification which looks like this so it is granted by the nida clinical trials network and this particular certification is very important as it is accepted across the world okay so if you are doing any pharmaceutical research any clinical research and if you are working in healthcare and pharmacy industry this certification would be very important and would be widely accepted across all the countries across all the companies okay so getting gcp certified in uh, nida is very important and here you can get it so as the arrow suggest there will be uh, your name clearly mentioned there will be the modules mentioned which you have passed along with the course completion and the expiration date so please note for gcp it is this certification is valid for 3 years and after 3 years you have to get again gcp certified and this particular course gets evolved gets updated so that the latest guidelines and learnings are included okay so this is how the certification works so thank you for watching this video i hope i was able to help you and guide through the gcp certification how you can get it for free and how it will help you in understanding clinical research better please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and share this video to all your pharmacy and clinical research enthusiast friends so that they can get gcp certified for free and they can make a good career 
so thank you for watching this video make sure you like share and subscribe to our channel thank you